Sports. It's a pleasure to be here this afternoon to launch the Kids Prom Concerts. I particularly acknowledge Katie Abbott from Melbourne, who's our concert presenter and highly awarded, published and recorded Australian composer. Today we have included the new work Life is But a Dream, as well as a number of other pieces I understand. Uh, Michael Thrift, uh, welcome our guest conductor here today and of course our orchestra. And today the orchestra includes some members of the Karingai Youth Orchestra and I'm aware that two of them came to KPO Kids Prom Concerts and took part in conducting some 10 years ago. In particular, uh, concert master violinist Melody Van der Wallen and tuba player Jaden Levy. So it's great to have you among them. And the Karingai Philharmonic Orchestra is celebrating 40 years this year, and it is a community orchestra with a reputation for superb presentations of exciting and interesting music, providing community-focused programs such as the kids' prom concerts and a range of other important activities during the year. This is the third year of the new works in the kids' proms co program, and in previous years, Damien Barbler and Brendan Collins have written special works, Hide and Quick, Squeak, I should say, and Incy Wincy. Uh, music does make our world a better place, bringing a sense of beauty, enjoyment, and pleasure. And it can trigger emotions and provide a, a chance to travel or move into a world of escapism. And music does communicate across cultures, inspiring people both young and old. And uh, I'm pleased uh, to have one of my four boys here today. Um, and, uh, and certainly I know Katie has three young boys that I'm sure help ground her to the, uh, to the uh, needs of young ones. And it's great to see so many eager young eyes and ears today. So listen carefully, boys and girls, uh, because we've got a very exciting agenda ahead. I sometimes compare politics with an orchestra in that individual members can have great talents in themselves, but it's only when people work together, including in an orchestra, that a truly great performance can be achieved. So today I'm very proud to launch Katie Abbott's new work, Life is But a Dream. I congratulate Katie, uh, wish the orchestra well, and look forward to hearing its, its production today as they work together. And I note that Life is But a Dream is based on, in part on the nursery rhyme, Row, Row, Row Your Boat, uh, and that's one I knew as a child. So boys and girls, enjoy it. Can everybody point to a violin player? They're people that play the violin. Can everybody point to a trumpet player? Good, they're people that play the trumpet. Can everybody point to a conductor? That's me. Now here's a toughie. Can everybody point to a composer? You've all seen people that play music, and you've all seen people that conduct music, but you might have not seen a person who writes music. That's what a composer does. And Katie has written a very special piece of music, especially for today. And it's called Life is But a Dream. And you're going to hear lots of weird and wonderful things in it that you might not have heard before, which Katie's going to introduce. But before we do, Give Katie a big clap for writing the piece of music, everyone. Thank you. It's lovely being asked to write music because that's just my favourite thing to do. So when I get asked, I say, yes, it's fantastic. Now, I had a bit of a challenge. I was writing about row, row, row your boat and it's about a little boat that goes down the stream. But that's boring. I wanted to write something using row, row, row your boat but really a bit devilish because that's a bit how I am sometimes. So I decided that the boat was going to have a lovely journey down the stream, but then it runs into some trouble. And that trouble is a big, fat, massive, gobbly kind of waterfall. Now what would I do when I'm writing music about a waterfall? It's a bit tough. Hey, can you tell me how, I think, uh, how you think I should have write it? Should the music go up? As, as the boat's falling down the waterfall, is that a good idea? What, can, maybe you can show me with your arms, how should the music go if the boat's going down a waterfall? 
Oh, you reckon it should go down? Okay, well, that's lucky because that's what I did. And I also had to think up some um, ways to use the instruments. And I'm wondering if the trombone player can do a, a gliss for us. Um, could you stand up and do a, a, a gliss, please, Jono? Listen. Do you think the boat might be going down the waterfall? And what about um, violas? Could you do a, a gliss, a glissando? And what about when it crashes at the bottom of the waterfall? Maybe the cellos and, uh, could do some colenio battuto with their, with their bows. Fantastic. And lastly, the vibraphone player, Rory with the yellow shirt up the back. Put your hands up if you can see Rory. He's going to play something that I like to think of as water. Have a listen to this. I really think that sounds like a beautiful, perfect little stream. But let's let the orchestra play it. Life is but a dream.
Thank you. I think the boat made it after all. I think it made it to the end of the journey.